Okay, we have an after credit scene. I was not expecting that shit with the Black Sheep and the Legion and all that. I truly believe they're simulating because he said they take their brain and that's how they can move past. Ooh. Lena felt that too earlier. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope you're all doing well today, and welcome back to another reaction for 86. This is episode 5, and I'm trucking right along, man. I'm trying to get these pumped out. That way, I'm caught up for the episodes so I can watch them with you guys week in and week out. And I believe there's 8 episodes so far, so we're getting closer and closer. Hopefully, we'll be caught up by episode 9, which I believe is this week's episode coming up. And I'm hoping this gets more than 12 episodes as well, because... It would kind of suck to catch up and only have like two or three episodes left. Uh, but either way, I'm enjoying the series. You can already see where the drama is coming from. Uh, if you go on now, you'll see drama is one of the genre tags. And it's clear that the drama has started. Uh, we also learned that Shin had a brother. And apparently Lena knew that brother. So I'm curious to see how that came about and everything. But apparently uh, his name was Dulahan, the Headless Knight. And, of course, he's also an 86 district person, I would assume. Uh, he's not considered an Alba, considered a person, unless she met him before the war started and before they did that declaration where if you're not an Alba, you're not a person. But I have a, I'm going to assume that that's not the case. I'm going to assume Lena met this person when he was, like, being treated as subhuman because, remember, she was brought to the battlefield by the father to check it out because he did not believe they were subhuman themselves. He believed simply what Lena believes as well. Uh, it looks like we're opening up on a battlefield here as well. That looks like it might be Lena. And maybe this is like the aftermath after what happened to the father. Because if I'm not mistaken, the uncle said the father died in an accident or whatever when he was bringing Lena to see District 86, right? Uh, but either way, man, I want to learn more about Shin's brother. I want to learn more about Shin himself. I want to see if some of these people have their own lineages uh, as far as nobility and whatnot, because Kaye said that she was one of the more rarer races or whatever in the camps, and perhaps she was picked on more because of that. So I'm just very curious to see, you know, more about the camps, more about District 86, the people within District 86, because we already got a good idea of the people within the Republic, the Alba. We need to see more of the District 86 individuals. Uh, but either way, guys, I rambled on long enough. Let's go ahead, count this down, and jump into episode 5 of 86. A lot of numbers there, man. 3, 2, 1, go. See, she's a... Okay. So... He said Colonel Malise which I'm assuming would be the father, right? It was the father. So this is this is when they got attacked, when he brought his daughter to the... She's not even in military uniform. She's just in a regular civilian attire. What was that image? What was the icon on the side of that? I wonder if this is going to be Shin's brother. Was that a Dulahan, a nightless, a nightless, uh, headless knight? I I'm going to assume this is how she met Shin's brother, right? Because we just got her asking about Shin at the end of last episode. Now we're seeing this scene. He doesn't have... It is him. Because I think in the flashbacks we saw the brother had red hair, right? But he didn't have glasses, I don't think. I'm assuming this is Shin's brother. I would have to go back and look at the icon on the side of the, uh, the juggernaut. But it was so fast, I, I really get a look at it. So if it is Shin's brother, it's Shin's brother who saved her after she lost her father, after they were shot down. Hmm. Hmm. Some food. So she was younger when she met him. Hmm. 
Yeah, so if this is Shin's brother, he was in 86 when he met when he met Lena. Okay. He still has, uh, he still holds the, you know, his nation in high regard. Hmm. Kind of a coincidence that, uh, so Shin must not be like, um, he must not be a, uh, it is him. What she just, which we knew because a rare name. They said, they said that about Kaya too, that she was a rare species. Okay. Wait, is he from the empire? They're from the empire? That's interesting. He literally has no choice, so. He ends up dying, though, I'm assuming. So, Shin's probably not, you know, involved in all this yet. He's probably not a soldier. Because he's her age right now, right? Alright, here we go. I didn't see the years, how many years passed, but. So he died. Five years ago. Does he want to go home to his family? I'm assuming his parents are dead. For his... For his... Juggernaut? His... Thing? The fuck does that mean? Dude. He goes for his body. No. There has to be more than that than just him looking for like the, uh, what do they call it? You know, the things he kept, the processors, and he kept writing their names on it. He must mean more than just a processor, right? Or is there a reason why he takes their processors besides just honoring them? Because we don't really know much about the Legion. We know the Legion took over the other country, right? Took over the Empire of Giad. And apparently, Shin and Rei, or Rai, were from that, that country, from that nation. And we don't know anything about their parents, dude. There has to be something else going on here. He has... Shin knows something about the Legion. He has to. Why would he say... Why would she say, I've been looking for my brother's body? He goes, what, his body? And he goes, no. And then it, it cuts to the opening. So there has to be something else going on with the Legion, right? Dude, does the Legion take the bodies? Dude, I, I really want to know more about the Legion. I hope we start getting into the Empire more. Because it seems like that's where we're going, considering the fact that we just learned that Shin and his brother are from the Empire. And why did they leave the Empire? Hmm. Is that's a net, right? And she's in her military uniform, it looks like. Oh, that's right. They can't get dairy or something, right? Isn't dairy like rare? Yeah, she's over here eating fucking strawberry shortcake and the 86 ain't getting no luxuries like that, dude. Hmm. Oh, she's just, she's out on the dating scene, huh? Ha! 
He's picky, man. He's five. Oh. Trying to hook her up with a five year old? What the hell? Uh. I wonder if she's going to take into account something like that. Like pictures of all the people that passed in 86 or something. Hmm. Talking to Undertaker. Who's put on party during a war? Uh, you guys that are coddled within your walls. Good. At least they're letting her know that she does help somewhat. Hmm. <laughs> well, maybe that's what she wants. Can't quite remember, huh? Was he that young? Why doesn't he remember? Because it was that long ago? He lived in District 1. Isn't District 1 like the highest district? I wonder if somebody messed with some of these people. You can relay, uh, you know, what she meant from. You can relay some of the stuff that, you know, R Rai said to her about Shin, which is cool. What's the problem there? He was just embarrassed or whatever? Like, not embarrassed, but... It was almost... It... He... he can hear it, dude. There was multiple times where he could hear something, and now I'm starting to understand that I think he can hear the voices of the Legion, but if they're... the voices of the Legion wouldn't make any sense considering the Legion are robots. He can, dude. He's hearing something. But why? Black sheep. That's also a very interesting black sheep. What do you think of when you think of black sheep? Dude, are we about to learn some truth about the Legion finally? I warned you. Oh, no, dude. When he says, I've been looking for my brother. Does he mean the Legion? Among the Legion? He's hearing the voice. He's hearing the voices of people. Is this what Shin hears? And that's how he can tell the Legion's coming? Are these the voices of the citizens of the Empire before the Legion took over? But why would they have their voices? Wait, he, she just heard Kai? 
Dude. It's called the Legion. Why would she be hearing Kai's voice? She was killed by the Legion. Does the Legion absorb who they kill? And that's how they gain sentience? It's so hot, like what, they were being burned or something? Help me. Oh, that was Kaye. Holy shit, dude. They assimilate their victims, dude. She's not going crazy. Shin apparently could hear it, too. But now that she was linked to Shin, I guess maybe she can hear them? I'm with you. Bro. They assimilate their victims, don't they? And Shin's hearing this the entire time he's on the battlefield? He is. So now we're getting to see what happened on the battlefield when Lena was freaking out, dude. Dude, this is messed up. He heard Kaye. They do assimilate their victims, dude. Which is why he torches it and takes the processors. They know the truth of the Legion. I wonder if the Republic knows, because Lena didn't know about it, dude. Summer sale. Dude. That's, that's nuts. That's what it seems like to me. It seems like they assimilate their victims. Because they said, didn't you torture her with her juggernaut? And then they take the processors, right? And that seems to be Shin's job as the Undertaker. Is to make sure that they don't get taken by the Legion. Oh, so other handlers heard it before. Why is Shin the only one that can hear them? Can anybody else hear them? Oh, because she called back. Because he said no other handler called back after hearing those voices. I'm assuming they all can hear the voices. Dude, that changes a lot. They're the fallen, dude. Is that why he doesn't have his memories of his past? Because he was on the cusp. So nobody else can hear his voices, but they know that he can hear them. And we saw him hearing those voices twice or th two or three times in earlier episodes. And he was always alerted and said they had to get re ready. Two 
Dude. Dude, they're not ghosts, bro. They're being assimilated, right? That has to be what's happening here. It's not gonna end in two years. They're gonna, th dude. The Legion's gonna find a way to. Is that true, though? That's what you think, though, man. But if the Legion's smart enough to assimilate their people, if that's what's happening here. It's modeled after a human brain, dude. Oh. Shit, dude. And that's how they're going to expand past... Dude, they assimilate them. And that's how they can operate past the two years. Okay. They hunt, they haunt the Legion. I thought it seems like the Legion absorb them, bro. Because they've killed more people and become black sheep. But are the black sheep stronger than the white ones, though? That's what I'm saying. They would have a find, find a way to get past that. This is going to be the, the, uh, the Republic's undoing doing what they did with the 86 people how will you be able to fight yeah it is going to be their undoing and i said that earlier in an episode dude i thought it was going to be them like revolting but there's more out there that you can monitor, though, yeah. Because they're not dumb. No, dude, I they are, dude. Exactly, you underestimated your, your, your enemy. They're not just machines, dude. Shepherd. So I love the use of like pigs and sheep and then shepherd. Is that also because they're more dangerous? Is that because they they had to have assimilated their victims, which makes them smarter, right? And what what if that brain is a higher quality than somebody else's? One at the rear of combat district one. easier said than done I'm with you the name of the episode I don't think he's going to have a choice. He's going to have to keep fighting because he just said there's children already on the battlefield. How is he going to allow kids to keep fighting past those two years, you know? I don't think Shin would do that.
Okay, we have an after credit scene. I was not expecting that shit with the Black Sheep and the Legion and all that. I truly believe they're simulating because he said they take their brain and that's how they can move past. Ooh. Lena felt that too earlier. Ooh. Ooh. Dude. This has to easily be the best episode of this series so far. Holy shit. That's a lot to process. So at the end there, we saw somebody reaching out and he had scars around his neck because his brother must have been choking him so hard. And he said, it's your fault. What was his fault? The death of his parents? Them leaving the Empire and going to the Republic? Like... There's so much more that we don't know about Shin and Rey. There's no doubt in my mind. And even his parents, because we don't know anything about their parents. But the fact of the matter is that the Legion's uh, operating system or whatever is based off of a human brain. Hence them taking the bodies of, of, of the juggernaut pilots, the processors and all that. And it seems like they're assimilating them. That way they can continue to run past the two years. And that's what I was saying earlier in the series. I said... How do they know the Legion hasn't found a way around this? And apparently it has. And that's by taking their enemies, dude. Like, getting the brains of their enemies. Essentially assimilating them because they're using their enemies' brains. Now, what if they get somebody who's smarter than somebody else? I wonder if that would play some kind of role, dude. This was insane. This changes everything that I thought about this series. Because now they're not just fighting mindless robots. They're not just fighting artificial intelligence. They're literally fighting these things called black sheep who have taken the brains of their enemies. We heard Kaye's voice out on the battlefield, dude. And then we learn that Shin apparently died almost. And that's why he has this ability to hear their brains. Because he's like on the cusp of both worlds, I guess. And maybe that's why he can't remember his time in District 1 and when he was a kid. But he does remember his brother grabbing him by the throat and saying, it's your fault. And then he says, I'm joining, I'll be seeing you soon, brother. What exactly went down between Shin and Rei? And where did this go down? Was it before he saw his brother? Like, was it before, you know, Rei saved Lena? Was it after that? Like, dude... And they apparently left the Empire. They were originally from the Empire. They're, they're Giadians, whatever you want to call them. I don't know the official name. I wonder if them or their parents had something to do with the creation of the Legion. Because we have yet to see the parents or hear about the, the parents. And it kind of gives me like Evangelion vibes with like uh, Shin, Shinji's father being the one that was like, you know, heading the research of, of all that. You know what I mean? With the Evas and the angels and everything. I like this show, dude. <laughs> if I didn't like this show before, this just, like, this this raised the stakes so much, bro. Holy hell. I really like this show, man. It, I'm surprised. I feel like people are sleeping on this, because I don't see a lot of people talking about this series. But it's good, dude. And there's not a lot of action, not a lot of combat, and I'm fine with that, because the story is what's keeping me uh, involved, keeping me intrigued. The mysteries, finding out about these characters in their past, because it's clear Shin has a past, dude. Uh, especially if he comes from the Empire. Like, I would love to see his time with his family in the Empire, and finally get to see, like, what the Empire was like before the Legion took over, you know what I mean? And if also, where are all these other countries? Is it, is it only the Republic and the Empire now? Did the Empire end up, like, taking control of other countries, you know what I mean? There's still so much world building that we can do here. And I love how they're sprinkling in these little factoids here and there. Especially, like I said, we learned about the Legions and the Black Sheep this episode. Lena had no idea about it. I have a, I have a feeling the Alba in general, the Republic in general, have no idea about it. Which is why Shin's saying, you're going to fall before two years. You're going to, you're going to fail. Because you guys are getting complacent with the information that you have. And it's false information. Things have changed and that's all because they're not on the battlefield 
the District 86 individuals are, and they're the ones able to see what's going on, especially Shin, who has the ability to hear the voices of the assimilated, of the dead. Dude, are we going to see the Republic fall at some point? And if the Republic does fall, where do we go from there? Very interesting stuff. But guys, what are your thoughts on this episode of 86? Let me know in the comments below. As always, please sna smash that like button if you enjoyed the video. It's completely free, and I greatly appreciate it. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you very soon for another video.